everybody. How's it going out there today? Hope everybody's having a great day. Welcome to this channel. I'm your host, Cash. And you've tuned in to the best damn trucking news this side of the Mississippi. Hashtag trucking news. Good trucking news. Here we go. You can copy me, but you can't be me. That's what I keep telling them. All right, what we got here for you, trucking news? Let's get to these stories. The first, first trucking news story. You're going to love this. The sassy trucker. She used to be on YouTube. She's one of these YouTube women that like to just show her ass and pretend to be a truck driver, you know? Uh, the sassy trucker reportedly detained in Dubai for yelling in public. Ooh, better tone that sassy down. Come on. Man found dead in burned semi-truck at the Laredo truck stop. It's going to be a PSA right here, boys. There's something we can learn from this, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I-81 is going to have delays expected as crews work to repair two bridges struck by tractor trailers that came on. Troopers in six states to team up for enforcement initiative this week. Whoa-oh. Better watch what you're doing out there. Second semi-pileup reported in same I-70 construction zones as fiery five-truck crash burns. Oh, you know, maybe, maybe you should do something about that there, DOT. Cops, uh, Texas cops take a trucker out of service after finding beer during inspection. Mm. Disclaimer, it was Bud Light. Loves is going to open a new truck stop in Arizona and Mississippi. So be ready for that. And the opinion piece of the day, boys, $4 million worth of meth found concealed in a tractor trailer roof. Whew. Damn it, boy. Let's get to trucker news. All right, first story. The sassy trucker reportedly detained in Dubai for yelling in public. Oh, I guess showing your ass ain't a good way to get out of it. You know what I mean? Like, look at this picture they got over, even in the news. Even in the news, like, oh, I got to put on my stretchy pants and put my ass out there. Maybe that's why my channel hasn't taken off. Hmm. Note to self. Hey, Google, make a note. Go to Lululemon and buy extra 4X, extra, extra stretchy pants. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to take off now, boys. I'm going to be popular on YouTube. Truck driver and social media personality followed by hundreds of thousands of people is reportedly being held in the United Arab Emirates for screaming at another person in public. Yeah, them boys over there don't take the sassy women, I would imagine. You know what I mean? If I was in Dubai, I would change my name from the sassy trucker to the maybe not so sassy trucker, you know? <laughs> Houston resident Tierra Allen, 29, best for known, showing her ass on the internet. Says she has more than 182,000 followers on TikTok and a large following on both Instagram, Facebook, social media platforms. According to her videos, Allen has been driving trucks since 2017 and showing her ass since 2017 as well. Specializes in auto hauling. According to the Houston News outlet Fox 26, about two months ago, Allen was vacationing in Dubai and riding as a passenger in a rental car that was involved in a crash. Following the collision, Allen attempted to retrieve her ID, credit card, and other items left behind in the vehicle from the rental car company. Allen's mother, Tina Baxter, told the outlet that Allen has to pay the sum of money in order to get her items back. This resulted in an altercation with a male car rental car worker during which Allen allegedly screamed in a public area. The incident was called on surveillance video. Now, according to Baxter, Allen was uh, issued a charge related to screaming in public and is now not allowed to leave the United Hair of Emirates. She has been detained in the country since the crash passport being held by authorities pending a court date. Allen does not have legal representation in Dubai, but may face jail time. Damn, this is why Cash, your host here, this is why this guy doesn't go to Dubai, okay? I mean, it ain't the same, boys. You ain't hanging out in uh, New Orleans. You're in Dubai, okay? You're not in Chicago. You better calm your ass down when you're in Dubai over there. But, uh, yeah, the sassy trucker, she ain't so sassy no more, I hear. All right, man found dead in burning semi-truck at a Laredo truck stop. Man, this is a bad story right here. Police in Laredo, Texas are investigating the death of a man found inside a burning semi-truck at a large truck stop early Sunday morning. Firefighters responded to a report of the vehicle fire around 3 a.m. on Sunday, July 16th at a pilot truck stop location in North Laredo. 
When crews arrived on the scene, they found two vehicles, including a semi-truck on fire. The fire had also spread to a grassy area. When crews extinguished the vehicle fire, they found the body of a male in his 40s inside the truck. Police say they did not suspect foul play. The incident is under investigation. Yeah. You know something I got in my truck that I recommend all y'all get is a fire alarm like for your house go to home depot I, mean, I got a video about it if you just google it i put a video up a couple years ago about this go in there get yourself a fire alarm carbon monoxide detector combination get you one of those okay and have it in your truck mine is up there on top of a cabinet where like just screwed to the side of a cabinet it's out of the way. It's it's above like the opening part of the cabinet. It's up on the fixed part. And let me tell you, it could save your life, okay? Like buy one off of Amazon down there. Use my link if you want to, but get one. I don't care if you use my link or not. Just get one because the other, well, not the other day. I'm bad to say that the other day. About two months ago, three months ago, my CO2 detector went off. And come to find out the guy next to me, his truck, was like so like rich on fuel it was setting off my carbon monoxide detector and his exhaust was like coming into my sleeper and when i woke up i had a pretty bad headache it must have been pretty bad but you know i mean i could have been dead in my sleeper right there and then he could have drove off and no one would have ever damn known what happened to me you know so uh get you one that may help save your life like this boy right here you know if he knew that was on fire, he, he might have been able to get out, you know. Um, so just just do that for yourself. Do it for your family, if nobody else. I-81 delays expected as crews work to report two bridges struck by a tractor trailer. Damn, that's what you need on I-81, right? More delays. Oh, I hate running I-81. Drivers are warned to expect substantial delays on Interstate 81 this week as crews work to make repairs to two bridges. Two bridges. Uh, the bridges on northbound Interstate 81 near Salem, Virginia, were both recently struck by a tractor trailer and are in need of repair. The Virginia Department of Transportation began these repairs on Sunday, July 16th at around 6 p.m. The repairs will close the right lane of I-81 near mile marker 137 between Christianburg and Roanoke through Thursday, July 18th. Okay, so maybe this has already happened. Uh, we know this is going to be inconvenient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're working to get it done. Troopers in six states are going to team up for enforcement initiative this week. Woo! This week, troopers in several states will be partnering for a high visibility enforcement campaign. Uh, the and campaign will go through July 16th through July 22nd. Okay, so basically till Sunday morning. Ohio State Patrol, Indiana State Police, Kentucky State Police, Michigan State Police, Pennsylvania. And West Virginia are going to team up on this. So if you're up in that like Virginia, West Virginia, Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana area, uh, just know they're stepping up enforcement. So there you go. There you go. You've been warned. Uh, next one, second pile up reported in same I-70 construction zone as fiery truck crashes. Whew. A stretch of I-70 in Illinois has seen two major pile ups in two days, according to uh, Tipolo Fire Protection District, whatever that is. Shortly after 9 p.m. on Thursday, 13th, multiple vehicle crash reported eastbound on I-70, mile marker 102. So if you're going through Illinois on I-70, be careful around mile marker 102. The crash involved three semi-trucks, but was not an entrapment and no major injuries. Okay. Uh, the state police are investigating the cause of the crash. More serious crashes occurred in the same area just a day before at the mile marker 101 and a half. So if you're going through that construction zone or any construction zone, slow down, pay attention, and stop trying to pass me when we're in a narrow little road with a jersey barrier on both sides and you can't stay in your lane, you dumbass. Whew, God, I've been getting a lot of that here lately. Uh, Texas cops take trucker out of service after finding beer during an inspection. Oh, got him with a couple, four cans of Bud Light, it looks like. The Great Vine Police Department recently sidelined a truck driver after discovering multiple cans of beer during an inspection. 
According to the July 12 social media post, officers discovered several cans of beer during a commercial vehicle inspection in the Grapevine area, Texas. Police say that the driver was placed out of service for 24 hours after the alcohol violation was discovered. Our officers work hard to keep roads safe possible. Commercial vehicles ensure big rigs are traveling safe. The Iowa State Patrol commercial vehicles shared similar things on social media posts the other day. I put that on the last trucker news. So uh, there you go, guys. Just keep that in mind. If you have alcohol in your truck and you are driving that truck, you are out of service. Okay? You will be put out of service. So... No argument about it. They will. Love's opens new travel stops in Arizona and Mississippi on Thursday. Love's Travel Stops announced the opening of two new stores in Wilcox, Arizona and Loosedale, Mississippi. The 13,000 square foot Wilcox store is located off of I-10 at, at 1600 North Grand Fort Grand Road. Amenities include an Arby's, 60 parking spots, seven diesel ways, five showers, a laundry facilities, and a cat scale. The Mississippi store is going to be 10,000 square feet. It's located off of Highway 98 at 2128 Hopper Road. The amenities will also include a Arby's restaurant, 42 parking spots, five diesel bays, four showers, laundry facilities, and cat scales. There you go. Loves is excited to add two new locations across the nation and will serve the Wilcox Loosedale community, said Shane Wharton, president of Loves. A very busy travel season. We can wait. We can't wait to greet customers with quality amenities and services. There you go. Loves operates 639 locations in 42 states. Wow. Loves growing like crazy. All right, here we go. Here's the opinion piece of the week. Four million dollars worth of meth found concealed in a trailer's roof. Hmm, they're getting creative now. U.S. Customs and Border Protection recently intercepted a large shipment of illegal drugs stashed in the roof of a semi-truck. The drug seizure occurred shortly after 9 a.m. on July 6 at the Tecate Port of Entry cargo facilities. CBP officers announced a 46-year-old truck driver at the facility attempting to enter the U.S. from Mexico. The tractor trailer was referred to a secondary inspection. The vehicle was scanned with a non-intrusive image technology. Officers detected an anomaly in the roof of the trailer. After inspecting the trailer's roof panel, CPD discovered 138 packages of methamphetamine weighing 1,800 1,815 pounds, an estimated street value of $4 million. Drug seized the truck trailer. Day. The truck driver was handed off to Homeland Security for further investigation and processing. Our officers are always ready to serve and protect our borders, stated Rosa Hernandez. Okay. The collaboration efforts uh, achieved this morning are to go and truly remarkable. I don't understand how you get uh, 1,900 pounds on the roof. Like, was it inside on the roof? Was it outside on the roof? This don't make no sense to me, but I can tell you this. The party's off this weekend, fellas. I was going to throw us a party, but the meth ain't going to show up now, so uh, we're out of luck. Sorry about your luck. It's just the way it is. Uh, thanks for watching Trucker News, everybody. Smash that like button for the best Trucker News on YouTube. Nobody does it better than me, I promise you. Subscribe. Appreciate it, guys. Remember, people are more important than trucking. Bye. Quick, I just want to remind everybody about the Mudflap app. If you're not using Mudflap, check it out. Download it. It should be part of your fueling program. It's a free app. Go download it from the Apple or Android store. You sign up using credit card or bank account. No credit checks, nothing like that. No fuel card needed. Get yourself huge discounts on fuel. I buy about half of my fuel through it right now. It's an amazing free app. It's 100% legit. Sign up using my promo code there, and I'll get $10 in free fuel. You'll get $10 in free fuel. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.